Oh, okay. and now it's time for today's Smart Money Minute with financial expert Andy Mattingly from Forum Credit Union. Yeah, today Andy is teaching us how we can stay off the financial naughty list over the holidays by practicing some smart shopping habits. Andy, good to see you as always. <laughs> Great to be here. Welcome. All right, Thank so you. let's dive right in. What are some of the ways that people can end up on the naughty financial list? Well, it all starts with they spend more than they can afford, right? So you do that. You start depleting all of your savings. Maybe, you know, you can save for the holidays, but you start getting into that emergency fund and all of those things. You make the holidays an emergency or you just run up your credit card debt mm. more than you can afford. So that's how you kind of end up on the naughty list. Okay, so spending more than you can afford, depleting your savings, uh, yeah. assuming that there, the savings is there. there and then drastically increasing your credit yes. card debt. Yeah. yeah, gosh, it is easy. I mean, yeah. yes, the, the advertisers easy. know what they're doing to make you do that yes. too. Yeah, what are some of the warning signs that you might see as you're heading into the season to stay off the naughty list? Well, you know, the one thing is you start looking at your credit card to see if you can make a purchase because the balance is getting high. <laughs> so that's, you know, that's a warning sign. You know, another thing is, is that you don't really know who you've bought for. So you just keep buying and you end yeah. up with more things because you're not really paying attention. And the last thing is you start making some moves that really aren't smart. So you wait to pay bills or, yeah. you know, get some late payments because you want to have that money to buy the holiday. So those are some signs that if you're doing that, that's that's a real problem. OK, so walk us through some of your top tips, Andy, to stay off this list. You know, make a realistic spending plan. Know exactly how much you can spend, but get those smart shopping habits, which we talk a lot about. Look for discounts. Wait for those discounts to come out. Make sure you're comparison shopping. You can buy a pair of shoes at five different places at five different prices, right? So make sure you're doing that. So those are great ways that you can stay off the list. Good tips. Yeah, you taught me one, uh, oh gosh, a smart money minute a long time ago about put something in your cart and then like online. Yes. Then walk away. Yes. Because sometimes those businesses trigger automatically to go, hey, 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 uh, we'll offer you a little. Hey, bit guess of what? It's now 20% yeah. off. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Suddenly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And so, Oh, go sorry. No, no, go ahead. No, no, no. You... And then some of those warning signs, like you were mentioning, to stay off the naughty list. I, you were talking about making a list to see who you've actually bought for so you don't yes. overspend. Uh, yeah, there we go. We've got that full screen up. Um, but what would you say with constantly checking that credit card balance? Like, how often would you do that? Mm. Well, you know, I think that's the one of the things that you just want to make sure that you know what your balance is going to be and you know how much you're going to spend. Yep. So you should just look at it every week to make sure that you haven't went over that. Okay. You know, so you should know exactly about how much you can spend. Yeah, keep an eye on it. So what if someone's really struggling financially this year, Andy? I know there's a lot of Hoosiers out there who are feeling the pinch and yet yes. they still want to make it a great holiday for friends and family. Yeah, I think that's where you want to make sure that you're focusing on the important things and making sure you're giving people things that they will really enjoy. So you don't try to keep up with everyone else in your family that's maybe giving expensive gifts but do more things that are important to the person you're giving them to that you can do yourself so uh -huh. that's a great way to do it and then make sure you ask for help um, because there, if you're really struggling there's a lot of places out there that this time of year are giving help and I think some people forget to ask yeah. for those things because you want to make sure that you do that right Okay, let's do a quick recap, okay? So okay. how can we stay off the list and what are some pro tips that you got? Okay, so staying off the list is don't spend more money, you know, have a plan and don't spend more than you're going to. Got it. And, you know, keep those great shopping habits up. You know, you don't make the holidays a time that you get rid of them. And then, you know, the most important thing is don't, um, you know, don't, do silly things that are going to put you in trouble next year, like paying bills late, things like that. Yes. Okay. And if people want to connect with you, get to know the team at Forum, what's the best way they can do you that? You know, Andy? the best thing to do is come out to forumcu.com or visit one of our branches. We're always there to help, especially these type of situations. And then make sure you follow us on all the social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, because we're always putting out there tips that might be helpful to your situation. Yeah. Awesome. Great resources. Thank you so much, Andy. We've been doing this for a couple years now, and we're always learning something. So. Thank you, we know our viewers are as well. Well, very good, thank you. Glad to be here. Yeah, coming up next, there's a fun holiday open house in Old Town Greenwood this weekend, and we have all the details for you. And stick around because you never know who may show up to steal the show, Mr. or Christmas for that matter. We'll be right back.